shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $45,365 to bring the fire prevention secretary position to a 40 hour per week full time status. This shall be a non lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276 and shall not lapse until the hiring is complete or by March 31, 2017, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Budget kind of budget vote on that, Madam Chair. Well, we're looking for it. Do you have we, it down there? My memory tells me it was 11 2 0. <coughs> In favor. 11 2 0. Sounds about right. Well, it could be an error again, too. <coughs> Sorry, Mary Louise. My memory is that it was 11 2 0 in favor, but my memory could be an error again. It was favorable, but we're not we're not showing. We're looking through our notes for a tangible vote on that. We may not have one, in which case we will have to revote it because you're not you're, you have it, but you're not sure, and I don't have it in any of my notes. We voted. We voted, it, uh, Madam Chair, and I was one of the two votes in the negative. Okay. Now, since the previous one was a 13 vote, I assume that it would have been 11 to 0. I but I have to reconsider on this. This would have been reconsidered for to last night. On what basis? Hmm? Take, take a revote. That's it. all. I, I just think to clear it up so it's not money. We'll take a revote on it. Please, is this coming? We tabled it originally to Wednesday, and I don't remember a revote on it last night. No, there wasn't any reconsideration last night. Right. No. The so, fire prevention secretary right. was one of those Warren articles that was forgotten in the mainstream of Warren articles brought to us, as you recall. And well, it was it brought to us. It was brought to us. We addressed that first in the evening, I thought. It might be in the minutes. Here. It was not ever tabled. Okay. It was brought up late because it wasn't brought to us in the initial. In the initial batches of Warren articles. We've had lengthy discussion on it, but I just think that perhaps a revote will clear the air on this one. I'm happy to enjoy another lengthy discussion if the man wishes. <laughs> well, I think in fairness to the article, some discussion is warranted. If I can have, Norm, if you can give us a couple of minutes, I think we need to do a, a vote, a period on this, not a revote. Um, can I have a, a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. Yes. Second. They'll read, the, they'll read the warrant. Oh, the warrant will be read. To accept as written. Mm -hmm. To okay. accept as written. All right. Now I'll open it up for discussion. If we could have not a lengthy but a concise discussion, it would help. Well, Madam Chair, as you recall, uh, when this was brought up, we had the fire chief uh, available. Mm -hmm. to answer questions and that questioning period was was truncated um, by a desire to speed up the clock or whatever and now we're asking essentially the same thing only without the chief available to answer no. was he here. Right right there. There. He's, he's, right he's not at the microphone that's my point and now I'm told even before we begin that we have to be brief rather than uh, comprehensive you're making it even longer, Tim. That's correct, because I object to the process on this particular Warren article. Well, as you know, in previous budget committee meetings, I was perhaps the most vocal in support of this uh, Warren article. New information was coming to light for me, which was causing questions in my mind, which I was not able to pursue. And based on your decision to do it quickly tonight, indicates that I'm not going to be able to pursue it as well. So I will remain in opposition because I cannot get a full oh, hearing true. on my questions. Thank you, Madam Chair. Tim, we've given you the floor to ask the questions. We've just asked that to make it as brief as possible. So in fairness... That was as brief as I could make it, Madam Chair. Okay. Any other questions here on the table? All right, so we'll vote by roll, starting with you, Nick. Um, all so, those. I mean, I, I do have... Uh, some facts I would relate if you want discussion. If you just well, want to, well, I'm asking for discussion before okay. we take the vote, Jerry. Okay. Right. This um, uh, warrant article uh, really bothers.
bothered me a lot. Um, we, we have a request for a full-time fire prevention secretary. Currently, this uh, lady is doing a fine job, works uh, 20 hours a week, uh, and makes $14.46 an hour for about $15,000 a year. She, uh, she's organized, she's, she's really pulled the department administratively in line in terms of scheduling these, uh, these inspections, these fire inspections, and she's made them more efficient. She's done a wonderful job. They want to make her full time. Full time can bring her, bring her, uh, if the CBAs pass, to uh, up to 36067 for annual salary. This is a 19% increase in her current salary. And when you put the fringe benefits on it, brings her up to $60,000, 60485 63 if the CBA passes. She would have an immediate 19% raise in the annual salary. But lumped in with that would be a 24,000 increase in 24,289 increase in fringe benefits, driven by retirement and health. Health insurance would be 16,000 and retirement would be 44,000 out of the 24,000. You know, I don't get it. I can see moving her hours from 20 to 25, 26, 27, below the threshold before she's considered full time making the department even more efficient, more streamlined, more organized. But I can't see moving her to $60,000 from 15. These fringe benefits just do it. Making full-time employees just further burden the taxpayers in terms of retirement and health costs, which are increasingly a bigger percentage in the, in the town budget. This is a black-white decision as far as I'm concerned. It's an easy one. But it was raised, and the majority of the board here, uh, budget committee voted for it. I voted against it. I'm extremely against it. I, I just, I just can't see it. For that extra 20 hours, for that extra 20 hours, she's currently working 20. For that extra 20 hours, we're going to get, we're going to have to pay 45,448. 45,448 for that extra 20 hours. I hate to tell you how much that amounts to per hour. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Uh, Madam Chairman, I also voted against this, and I'd like to add that. Uh, well, the problem, you guys spoke against it, but we didn't have a final vote against it, so please correct yourself. I voted against it. Thank you. And I would like to speak against it again. Grab the mic down there. Grab the mic right down there. Here you, Michael. I have one right here. Is it working? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Got me yell a little louder? <laughs> no, uh, I voted against it. Not so, I mean, Jerry made some very good points and I've endorsed everything he says. My problem with this is, if she's done such a wonderful job, everything's going so smoothly, why are we changing it? I mean, if my car is driving wonderful and it doesn't cost me anything to run it, why should I buy a new one just because I want a new car? I, don't, I can't see this. This is a ridiculous amount of money to, I don't want to see what purpose it serves. So I, I'm definitely against it. Thank you. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. I would like to have the Chief give a brief uh, monologue of what he did at the budget session when this was discussed. And I thought voted on. I thought I had voted on it. Um, so if, you know, if we could just have him give a quick uh, idea as to... If you would, too. Certainly. Thank, Thank you. you. The position of fire prevention secretary is one in which we, uh, that's our business office for, for the fire department. Uh, she sits out front at the window right now. We're there, uh, we, we currently work um, all day long. You know the fire department's open 24 seven. The position, as far as business is concerned, is open eight to five. Uh, currently my window's unstaffed half the time. Her position is to take in all of the work that's coming in, whether it's builders or uh, other construction. It may be uh, for the permits or uh, permitting for propane, for uh, scheduling inspections, whether it's sprinkler or fire alarm. Uh, she currently is also on a task to re reevaluate and update our site plans. As you might imagine, businesses change quite frequently. She's been sending out letters to local businesses to obtain information so that we have current information. 
Um, there's the Knox box logging. There's an, an, an intensive amount of work that goes into her position. Currently at 20 hours a week, she has done a really tremendous job. One thing that I would like to separate though is that the position requires somebody there all the time. That I already have a wonderful person performing it is separate. That's a bonus to me. However, for 20 hours a week, we have an unstaffed position. <coughs> Nobody can greet any of our vendors that are coming to the door. Um, her job has increased dramatically. She has done a tremendous job. I cannot get away from that. Um, and I champion her cause because of it. However, we're not done yet. What we've done is we've made a really bad situation better. We haven't completed the work that we need to yet to make the town proper. As I discussed with Mr. Tinker this week, in the last four years, I was hired in March of 2012. My four year anniversary is coming, and in that time, we've seen an increase of $107 million worth of property that we're protecting. All of this requires inspections. All of it requires uh, scheduling, site updates. She's the one who's doing that right now. So we really need this position to move forward so that we can continue on the path that the town's on. Thank you. Madam, Madam Chair, may I just ask the chief a question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So in other words, just so I have it clear, and I think perhaps the budget committee has it clear as well, if this particular person was not employed 20 hours a week, you would still be looking to have a position at 40 hours. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I have a question, Madam Chair. Yes, ma'am. Um, the revenue brought in by the, the permits that this position deals with? Yes. Can you, can you um, explain the revenue that was brought into this department uh, this year? Sure. Uh, in January, actually in December, uh, at the town manager's request, we evaluated the permit um, costs and fees that were associated with fire prevention. Uh, in general, we were we were not on the map by comparison to local communities um, like sized. Uh, we did some research. We generated fees, and at the Board of Selectmen's um, direction and vote, we adopted the new fees on February 12th. Uh, the fee schedule went in, in effect on February 12th. From January 1st to February 12th of 2015, we brought in $495. And since February 12th, with the acquisition of the new fee schedule, we brought in uh, just under $21,000 in new fees that were generated. And she's been the, the catalog for all of this right now. Okay. Um, so these are fees that haven't been there in the years past. And I'm not, I'm not saying that this woman in particular is the cause of those fees coming in. It sounds like it was something at the Board of Selectmen um, approved to bring these fees. What it does show is the workload um, that this job requires, though. Certainly. And uh, especially not having, I know you went out for a fire inspector this year, and, and that was uh, uh, tabled for, for, uh, by the Board of Selectmen. But um, having worked on the beach, especially in the seasonal department, there is a huge need to get inspections and yeah. permits out done in a timely manner. Um, th this position for consideration of the board, from what I understood from your presentation, deals with the scheduling of that. And right now where we don't have two people doing inspections, we have the chief and the deputy chief taking on that, uh, augmenting the, the fire, fire prevention fire. officer, uh, which takes them away from their duties too. And, and uh, uh, to have her schedule that for you and make it, it, it gives you the opportunity as best you can to get back to your duties and it really seems like she's um, streamlining the process, making it more efficient. Um, I can definitely see the need for a full-time position. I would be in support of this Warren article. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. The other night when we talked about this, I mentioned that you run a very lean, well-managed department. There are eight firemen on duty 24 hours a day protecting us. And you explained the other day that this position allows the fire prevention officer, yourself, and the deputy oh, no way. to, you're not doing the schedule, she's doing it for you. Correct. And it makes your department very efficient Considering the growth that this town has had 
with not just at the beach. Look at the Mighty Nose Brewery. You have an, a tremendous job that you have to do. And this person is getting $14.50 an hour. And from the, the descriptions that you've given us, she does an excellent job. It certainly sounds like you've found the right person to do the job. Couldn't agree and more. if you are asking for one to add 20 hours, you're not asking for three or four more firemen. You're running a very lean operation. I am completely for this article. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Comment here. Comment. Mm -hmm. Right. The the uh, pay that this lady would now be making with the CBA would be seventeen thirty four. If that passes. If it passes. And I would be looking for ways to streamline this in terms of I would add another part time person. If you're going to do two twenty hours, it's equal to forty. Or put her up to a twenty seven or twenty eight and get one for thirteen. You know, find ways to operate efficiently, effectively, and cost effectively is what I, where I'm coming from. Thank you. Um, I feel this is a very cost effective. Um, this person is much needed, is one of the first people that when they go to the fire department, this is who they're going to see. Um, this position helps the fire department immensely and much more than we'll ever understand. So I am very much in favor of this. Thank you, sir. Take a vote. Madam Chair? Yes. The question before us in this Warren article is whether this position should exist as a full-time as opposed mm -hmm. to a part-time. The question is not whether the position should exist at all. Also, Chief, you would, you would tend to agree with me that if we had doubled our fees, we would have doubled our revenue, right? And if we had cut in half our fees, we would have cut in half our revenues. But we would have had the same amount of work to do, right? We would. Okay, so revenues have got nothing to do with, uh, with the question before us. Mm -hmm. Also, Chief, I'm sure you would agree, because you've said so in other forums, that this particular person that was hired in this position this past year has achieved a great degree of efficiencies for your department. Is that correct? I have said that, and I agree. Yeah, and, and, and she's done so with uh, largely uh, organizational skills, which included um, a deeper utilization of, of readily available computer technology, correct? She has. So with all of that efficiency, it certainly uh, would, would certainly uh, accommodate any additional volume in terms of buildings that might be uh, built in the town. I disagree. Um, well, I haven't seen any, any indication as to what percentage of efficiency increase we've got, nor uh, number of building inspections that are occurring uh, increased over year over year. So I don't have any of that data. Generally uh, speaking, and, and to speak to the Warren article on that, though, to answer you, Mr. Jones, uh, I give quarterly reports to the Board of Selectmen, and I indicate the volume of the workload that we perform. Uh, gen you know, it, with without question, each quarter I come to them and I talk about the fire department statistics, the EMS side, and I also talk about fire prevention. Um, and the volume is tremendous. As far as volume of work, I know that my counterpart in business, Mr. Schultz, the building inspector, I'm sorry, building, um, the building inspector, I know that he has $40 million worth of permitted work. All of that needs inspection. So if we don't allow this person to, to maintain the job that they're doing and, and grow, then we're unable to grow as well. It's that simple. We have a lot of work and we have a lot more to go. <coughs> Well, as I was saying, I don't have any, any, any data that indicates to me a percentage of increase in the degree of efficiency that's been realized in the past year, although it has been lauded, and I certainly applaud it, and I expect it has been an increase, but I have no idea how to measure that increase in efficiency. I also am, am a bit uh, dearth in terms of data, in terms of uh, the percentage of increases in, in uh, permitting, especially given your previous testimony that the permitting has been distributed over a larger county time frame. At least that's what you said at the last meeting. What I talked about so, was permit Yeah, so we, we don't, we can't see that peak we in, we cannot see that peak and valley in terms of uh, any kind of numbers. Uh, I, I, this is not readily available I don't know what the me. question is, Mr. Jones. I know, it's not a question yet, it's okay. a statement. Also, well, I think that this person, in all indications I have, this person that you just hired has made radical improvements in, in the department. I would be far more in favor of doubling her pay than doubling the amount of hours that she's working. 
Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. I'm going to take the opportunity just to apologize for the confusion on this. This Samoran article came in, I believe, late. Friday. And that's right, Friday, and um, with another Warren article number on it. It was shared with another Warren article number. So we've had some confusion getting things very late and numbered incorrectly. So thus the, the clarity in the vote, because we had two Warren articles with the same numbers. Um, on this, I'm, I'm not going to regurgitate everything. I'm going to say this. For the past few years, we have needed another fire inspector. Um, this is the next best thing to it. And the numbers that have been brandished in the past for a fire inspector, they were almost double what you're seeing here when you added benefits in, into it. And this is helping to accomplish great gains in the inspections, albeit the chief I believe you're doing them, but she is keeping up with all the paperwork on her Just end. so we're clear, ma'am, the fire prevention officer is handling the, the lion's share, mm -hmm. and the deputy and I are doing as, as needed where we're um, fitting in. How was that? She, he, we still have a fire prevention officer doing the inspections. I don't want to take away from the work he's doing. He's doing a tremendous job. Mm -hmm. And my question would be, would this team be effective in the future, or would we still need to enhance it? With her enhancement, yeah, you discussed it? With, 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 with moving her forward. moving in the team with the three of you right now, will that be effective going into the future or will we be looking at another personnel request in fire prevention? Uh, the trajectory that the town's growing, I anticipate we're, we're still without that position of inspector. So, it, so it's still, still there are three people doing inspections to answer that question. There are three people currently doing inspections and that includes the deputy. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Um, I'm going to leave this for a vote. Nick, if we can start down your end. Bridal. Blair. Robbins. Lapham. LaBranch. Plum. Malarco. Lad. Nicholson, yes. Are we all the way down the end of the table? Oh, yes, Bean. Thank you. In the apartment. I'm going to add myself to that. Latimer. And the no votes? Pierce. Sonoy. Jones. Any abstentions? All right. The vote to recommend is given as follows. 11 to 3. Yes. Thank you very much. Now moving on to...